Hey friends, this is Eric the Mind Control Guy. Not too many days ago I showed you some footage from some uh, movies that had uh, MIB in them. And uh, now I'm going to show you this one. This was made in about 1994 about the Roswell cover-up. And there's a little bit of stuff that uh, leads up to and you show uh, showing you some very, very brief depictions of the MIB. But without saying anything, it shows you what their influence is. Frank Joyce. So I heard wrong. So you haven't given up. Well, frankly, I'd have thought you knew more about all this than I ever did. Well, I probably do. But there's a few things missing. Like what happened here at the base when I was off in Fort Worth. That's what I'd like to know. Why? Because I don't want to go down on the history books to some damn jackass that made a ridiculous mistake. Hell, I know what a weather balloon looks like. Everyone does. Frank, I've been living with this thing for so long. It's just building up inside of me, you know. Do you mind? <clears throat> and unfortunately, in my case anyway, it doesn't come out soon. It's not going to come out at all. Maybe you shouldn't have that. It's too late for me. Thinking of telling what I know. Telling. Who? Newspapers. Maybe you. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Why don't we go outside? <clears throat> Judd Roberts. He was my station manager. He and I, we never really believed that balloon story. But you know, you gotta be careful with this stuff. Real careful. According to General Ramey, what may have confused them all was a radar tracking device suspended underneath it. Well, so much for the little green men. And now it's back to music. You don't believe it? Frank, if it's a weather balloon, tell me how come Brazel's ranch was all cordoned off when we got there. And if it was a weather balloon, how could Marcel not recognize it when the damn things are sent up by the 509 twice a day from that rooftop across the street? I mean, you just look up. There they are. Balloons. Have they come down at my place, your place, everybody's place? Even my dogs recognize the damn things by now. I think we should go find that rancher. Let's do it. Over there, isn't that him? Shit too. I tell you what, this is about. Yeah, you're coming with me. Hey, hey, hey! Take my money. That's all it's all about. Don't steal my money. 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 Don't steal my I'm a private goddamn citizen. You understand me? I'll tell you something else. I'm going to write my congressman. You bet your sweet ass I'm going to write my congressman. Oh, what the hell this country's going to? Mr. Brazel. It's Brazel. God damn it. You ain't know my goddamn name. We were talking before about what it means to be a patriot. You don't know what that means, mister. You better read the Bill of Rights. Where does it say thing in the Bill of Rights about kidnapping private citizens off the street, huh? Why don't you show me that amendment? Show me that page number, man. 
national security is at stake. Rules don't mean God damn, I don't want to hear that shit anymore either. Christ, you think I'm some kind of fool who's going to wear a cowboy hat? I know what I saw. I held my goddamn hands. They said the material was a weather balloon. Well, how in the hell does a weather balloon affect our national security? Huh? Maybe I'm just stupider than I think I am. I, I don't get this. I mean, unless you all are expecting some sort of surprise balloon attack. Look, there's just two possibilities here. Either that damn thing is a flying saucer, or it ain't. And if it is, well, I owe three thousand dollars. And if it ain't, that's real simple. I ain't owe nothing. If you get my drift. You say this is completely authorized? Oh, yeah. It's completely authorized. Um, you know, I think it's time we set the record straight. I reckon I knew all along that that stuff out there wasn't from outer space. And after all the stories come out about it... And he just out and out recants. Frank, Says his conscience has been bothering him a lot, so he, he figured he'd better tell everyone what really went on out there. And maybe he wouldn't feel so bad. You found this... A half month earlier? Yeah, they're about. I mean, it's way out there for a while. I didn't think nothing of it. I started hearing all them stories about flying discs. And some neighbors stopped by my place one afternoon. They said something about somebody offering a reward, pieces of disc or whatever. Figured, what the hell? I'll give it a shot. But the debris. Well, yeah, man, like that was just uh, tin foil and scotch tape, balsa wood, I guess. I never thought it would cause this kind of hole below. Thanks, Mac. Off the record. What's the truth? The truth? I'll tell you the truth. You know how sometimes folks that talk about little green men? Well, they ain't green. 